You ever been tortured? You ever been shot at? I mean, besides, you know, Call of Duty? Have you ever successfully detected an IED? Have you ever failed to detect an IED? I mean, one minute someone's there, and then... Scrap Heap is a solo show. It runs about 55 minutes, and it is based on a true story, based on a friend of mine who served in the military for about 12 years. He was in the Special Forces and the Diplomatic Security Service. And what we do is we try to put the audience um, in the middle of his experience, whether it's on active duty or in his transition from uh, service to civilian. And we take this whiplash journey with him. And uh, there's a lot of humor in it. There's a lot of... Uh, grappling with difficult material. I have nightmares, flashbacks. I am someone's cliche. My father served uh, as a Marine in World War II, and my nephew did two tours of uh, duty in Iraq. I found myself surrounded by people I cared about who had served in the military and then had a certain amount of uh, challenge sort of navigating life. And the more I learned about uh, my dad's experiences, the more I learned about my nephew, and the more I learned about uh, my friend, the more I felt like as someone who had never served, what could I do to raise awareness of veterans' issues with whatever skills I might have. And uh, I started doing work with the veterans community here in Columbus, doing uh, Shakespeare workshops um, for combat veterans and for military family members. And then I started to develop this show. I really wanted to tell my friend's story and sort of raise his voice uh, as a tribute to him, but also as a tribute to everyone else that I knew in my life who had served. No. No, I know you don't care. No, no, I mean, really care. I hope that um, people who are not directly connected to the military community, when they come and see the piece, that they maybe gain a deeper understanding of, of what it is we ask our, our military service members, what we ask of them when we send them into harm's way. Is today but dead. Everyone is complicated. Everyone has hopes, dreams, makes mistakes, is navigating their life, and that uh, maybe this notion of a military-civilian divide is uh, more bridgeable than we think it is, uh, as we come as like listeners and learners, uh, and, and to have an appreciation for that transition from service to civilian.